Linda Lavin may be best known for portraying the lead in the hit 70s and 80s series Alice, but she's still working today at the age of 84. In fact, she's busier now than she's been in a while, having recently finished work on the second season of the new CBS series Be Positive. Linda's character lives at a retirement facility, but Linda doesn't need any assistance living in the real world. Join Facts First as Linda Lavin reveals the secrets to aging gracefully. Although actress Linda Lavin may be most famously remembered for her tenure as the titular character on the 70s and 80s series Alice, she is still keeping busy today at age 84. The actress's biggest role nowadays is portraying Norma on the CBS series Be Positive. The character of Norma lives in a retirement facility, and Linda is hoping that the real-life citizens living in such facilities can relate to the character and her struggles, as well as her more empowering qualities. Although Norma is stuck in a retirement facility, she doesn't let it get her down. Similarly, Linda Lavin is thriving in her old age. The second season of Be Positive has recently begun airing on CBS, and audiences will get the chance to see Linda Lavin later this year on the big screen. Linda is portraying the real-life character of Madeline Pugh in the upcoming I Love Lucy biopic being the Ricardos. The film is written and directed by Aaron Sorkin. It will also feature Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem as Lucy and Desi. With her upcoming turn in being the Ricardos and her ongoing gig as Norma on Be Positive, it appears Linda is keeping very busy. Besides appearing on Be Positive, Linda Lavin could also be seen in recent years on the series Santa Clarita Diet. However, it's hard to deny that the actress remains best for portraying Alice. Other TV series she's been seen on over the course of her career include Barney Miller, The Doctors, and The Good Wife. She's also been a reliable presence on stage. She's even received a Tony Award for her performance in the 1980s production Broadway Bound. She's also received five other Tony Award nominations. These include nominations for The Lions in 2012 and The Diary of Anne Frank in 1998. With her more recent role on Be Positive, Linda has been hoping that her character connects to audiences in as big of a way as her character on Alice did. Alice became a hit with single mothers who found themselves empowered by her. Similarly, Linda is hoping her character on Be Positive can empower those living in retirement facilities. In addition to empowering the elderly through her tenure on Be Positive, Linda has also shared some words of wisdom about how she manages to maintain her energy and vitality into her old age. Many people her age are actually living in retirement facilities, but Linda has done her best to stay active and healthy and is nowhere near needing assistance in her daily living. Two of the most important things Linda tries to remember to maintain her healthy outlook are to be positive and to be resilient. When Linda encounters age-related setbacks, she doesn't let it stop her from doing everything in her power to overcome them. Getting bogged down by negativity can prevent people from moving forward, so Linda is sure to face every challenge she meets in her twilight years head-on. She also isn't afraid to laugh at herself and doesn't waste time pretending she's the exact same young starlet she once was. Besides being positive, Linda has also expressed the importance of her resilience. She's had to adapt over the years to maintain her place in the entertainment industry, but she has continuously managed to take on roles that have taken advantage of real-life changes, like her current role on Be Positive. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more, and stick around for a lot more about Linda Lavin. While positivity and resilience have certainly been beneficial skills for Linda to practice in her older age, she's also incredibly active. She routinely goes for walks and plays with her dogs in her yard. She's also sure to cook healthy food for her and her husband, and she practices meditation. Although she isn't running laps in her 80s, she stays active by routinely walking and playing with her dogs. And she stays incredibly busy with work. In addition to her television work, she released an album called Love Notes in 2020. Beginning her tenure on Be Positive required her and her husband to move out to L.A., which has been a fun adventure for them. Sadly, Linda's husband found himself out of town when the COVID-19 pandemic struck, which caused the two to have to spend a couple months apart due to travel restrictions. During this time period, one of Linda's beloved dogs got sick and had to be put down. While this was a difficult period for Linda and third husband Steve Bakunas, they've since overcome and are doing better than ever. Linda has expressed that the third time has been the charm when it comes to marriage. She'd been married twice previously, first to Ron Liebman, then to Kip Niven. She married Ron in 1969, and they divorced in 81. She then married Kip in 1982, and they divorced in 92. 
She didn't marry until 2005, though her marriage to third husband Steve has already proven to be her most successful yet. Linda grew up in Portland, Maine, and was introduced to the world of performing at a young age. Her mother was an opera singer, and she could be heard on both the radio and television. Sadly, Linda's mother ended up giving up her career as an opera singer after Linda was born. However, she would go on to live vicariously through her daughter once Linda started showing many innate talents herself. At her mother's insistence, Linda attended college. After graduating, she went to New York with the goal of becoming an actress. She worked for a time at Bloomingdale's handkerchief department while building up her profile on stage. She received many roles in various musicals and plays during her time in New York City before eventually deciding to head to California. She made the decision to head there hoping she would become a successful Hollywood actress. She moved in 1973 and got her title role in the series Alice in 1977. The series rocketed Linda to superstardom, and it also made her an unlikely advocate for the rights of single mothers everywhere. Although Linda was never a single mother herself, single mothers in the audience related to her character on the show. Linda portrayed the character on the show Alice for nine seasons before it eventually ended. The show followed Alice working as a waitress at a diner in Phoenix while trying to pursue her dreams of being a successful popular singer. It featured the character working for both equal pay and equal rights in general, which was something audiences related to. Because of that role, she became an unlikely spokesperson for single moms everywhere. When she would make public appearances, she would sometimes dress up as Alice. Linda felt the audience related to the character of Alice better than her, and the character eventually became a symbol for single mothers everywhere. Linda also sang Alice's memorable theme song. The song was subtly changed over the course of the show's nine seasons with a different iteration every year. Linda is now 84 and happily living with her husband Steve and their dogs in LA. Steve is also an actor as well as a drummer. They met while performing together in the Broadway play Hollywood Arms. Together, they established a theater in Wilmington, North Carolina, where they can sometimes be seen putting on productions. The theater is called the Red Barn Theater, and some of the productions Linda has appeared in at the venue include Driving Miss Daisy, The Tale of the Allergist's Wife, and Doubt. The couple later lived in New York and are now calling California their home. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share if you were inspired by any of Linda's words about how to age gracefully. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.